Let's see solved problem number two in selective repeat ARQ. Let's start the session with the outcomes. What we are going to learn in today's session? Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to compare the number of transmissions of go back for ARQ with selective repeat ARQ. Let's see the question now. Host A wants to send 10 frames to host B. The hosts agree to go with selective repeat ARQ protocol. How many number of frames are transmitted by host A? If every sixth frame that is transmitted by host A is either corrupted or lost. Also, compare the number of transmissions of selective repeat ARQ with go back 4 ARQ. In go back N ARQ, whatever is there in the current window, all frames are retransmitted. Whereas in selective repeat ARQ, only the lost frames or corrupted frames are retransmitted. Let's solve this problem. The number of transmission with go back for ARQ is 17. Already we have solved this problem. I request you to watch my previous lecture titled Go Back and ARQ Solved Problem 2. In Solved Problem 2, I have used a shortcut method. If you want to know the formal way of solving this problem, you can see my lecture Go Back and ARQ Solved Problem 1. So we are very clear that the number of transmissions with go back for ARQ is 17 because the entire frame is going to be retransmitted, so in go back and ARQ, the number of transmissions will be high. Let's solve this problem using selective repeat ARQ. In the question, it is mentioned that there are 10 frames. The frames are numbered as 1, 2, 3, up to 10. Frames transmitted by host A, we have a window. And if you notice here, every sixth frame is going to be lost. So I have a marking here. This is the sixth frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So every sixth frame is going to be lost. So let's see the transmission. So frame 1 is going to be transmitted. Frame 2 is going to be transmitted. Frame 3, frame 4, frame 5 and frame 6 is going to be transmitted. No problem if frame 6 is lost because sender will be sending frame 7 and frame 8 or even frame 9. Let's assume the sender is now waiting for the acknowledgement for frame number 6. Obviously, receiver will not send the acknowledgement for frame number 6. So, after a certain period of time, the sender times out. What the sender will do now? It will retransmit frame number 6 again. And then, sender will continue its as usual procedure that is frame number 9 and frame number 10. And that's it. Here, frame number 6 alone is retransmitted, but not the entire window is retransmitted like go back any ARQ. When you compare, how many number of transmissions are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the number of frames transmitted by host A is 11. Also, it need not be the case that frame number 6 should be retransmitted here. It may be here, here, here or anywhere. The main advantage of selective repeat ARQ is only the lost frames are retransmitted. And the answer for the question is, in go back in ARQ, the number of frames transmitted by host A is 17. And in selective repeat, the number of frames transmitted by host A is 11. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.